guys and welcome back to Love for Plants. Today we are here to talk about mealybugs. Um, I bought this plant intentionally today. I actually went to the store once, saw it on sale, went home because I didn't want to deal with mealybugs, um, and then decided I wanted it, so I went back and got it. So we are going to talk about how to get rid of them. Um, here is my plant. I have Amanda Villa. I've already taken it out of the pot. It came with two. I've already started working on one. A plant this size with two in the same container was $53. I got it on sale for $14. Um, and because of that, I thought, well, you know what? We're going to treat it. This one I have looked through and I haven't seen anything on it. However, there were some a lot actually there were a lot on the one beside it so I'm treating this anyway here on Ohio Amanda Villa will not l make it outside in the winter so he's gonna go in my house um, so I definitely want him treated I don't want him around any of my other plants so he's gonna get treated and quarantined um, because mealybugs they're gonna kill your plant they're just gonna eat it alive so today what I have going on the, the little pool down here on the table it's full of water dish soap and um, vegetable oil and I'll put that recipe down in the comments for you guys I'm going to soak this plant in that water for a while um, the oil actually will suffocate those mealybugs and then when I pot it I will spray it with neem oil so I just going to get all this in here I'm going to push everything down I'm going to let it just soak in here for a while roots and all and I tried to get as much dirt out as I could. Um, I'll continue doing that when it's here in the water. Just as a preventative measure, my water's dirty because I've already done one plant. So that's in there. We're gonna let that soak. And then, get my hose out. Here is the second one that it that was in the pot. This one has already soaked. Um, so now I'm going to give him a good spray. I'm going to spray him down really well. Then I'm going to pot him and put him on a trellis. Then I'm going to spray him with neem oil. And neem oil, when you have bugs, you want to do that weekly for at least four to six weeks, um, depending on the, infest the amount of infestation you have. So let's go ahead and we'll spray him down with the water and hose. And there's no rhyme or reason to this. You just hose her down. So I want to get all that off of there. And as you can tell, there's still some dirt in the roots. Can't get it all. Not going to stress it. But just hose this puppy down. Help knock off anything that's on there. And as you can tell, he's huge. So I was pretty happy with uh, $14 for two plants in the pot. I'm actually going to divide this into two different pots um, and go from there. So really I got a heck of a deal then if you look at it that way, I got it for $7 a piece. And I love mandevillas, they flower all summer long. The only bad thing, like I said, is in the winter here, it's too cold for them so you can't, I can't put them in the dirt outside. So I would say that's pretty good. He's hosed off. Now, when you're treating your plants, do not put them in sunlight. Um, any kind of insecticide, if it's put in the sun, will burn your plant. And then you have a hideous looking plant. Not that this one is all that great looking right now, but he will be in the future. Um, he does have some bad leaves on him. I'll bring him up here. He's got some ugly leaves. We're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to let him kind of grow and take his time, and then I'll trim those bad leaves those bad leaves off. Right now we're just going to take care of the mealybugs. So, see if I can get this in the camera for you guys. Here's my pot. Clean your pots before you use them. Um, you're going through all the work to keep these pests away. Make sure your pots are clean. So I got regular soil in here. 
his root system is good for this pot. I'm gonna put him in here. Shove him down in there. And he's potted. I'll give him some water and then I'll put the trellis up and we'll get him looking good. And then we'll spray him with some neem oil. So let me get back here where I can work. I give him a hose quick, just the soil. Hose him down. Some nice fresh soil. And some bamboo sticks. The bamboo sticks I'm going to make as a triangle in his pot. So you're not going to be able to see that right now from the bottom. Get them in there good. Then I brought, I just buy like, you can use your bread ties, twist ties. Um, you can get plant twine. You can use tape, whatever it is to hold these together. Now I got a little teepee. Let me see if I can carry this over. So a nice little teepee here with the plant in the middle. And then the fun begins. You, you can put him in here. You can wrap him around this. Whatever it is you want to do to get him to stand tall. Um, I really think... Oh, I separated him earlier. So since I did that, I should probably just tie him around each pole. Make him look fuller. This is really just a preference. Take one twine at a time, or branch at a time if you want. And just simply wrap it around however you like, nice and easy. All the people driving past are probably like, what is that woman doing? Like I said, just wrap each one around. Nothing fancy about it. And I'm way up to the top now. Grab your next branch. And no, it's not sitting in the pool water behind me, so. The only bad thing about a plant this big taking care of it at the beginning is getting everything untangled. So, here's my next one. We're a little bare down here at the bottom, so I think I'm actually just gonna wrap him in and out fill it up down here at the bottom. I like nice full plants. And if you like it even fuller, you can put those two plants back in back in the container. If you're putting them back in the same container that they came in, make sure you clean that container really, really good. Um, especially since we're dealing with mealybugs. Get that container nice and clean, all fresh soil. You don't want to go through this more than you have to. But like I said, since the plant was on sale and I've been eyeballing him, all year long, I went back and got him. I said, I'm gonna deal with it and I'm gonna see what happens. And hopefully he will do all right. But I would not have paid no $50 for him with mealybugs, so. Get all this up here. Going way up high now. Sorry, I know you guys can't see that. couple more then I think we'll be done with him to get ready to spray him with some neem oil but for seven dollars a plant in that container since I had two of them I'm pretty happy with that purchase like I said you can twine these however you want I think my other one that's soaking right now I may put him in a hanging basket I really like long viney plants and hanging baskets from sometimes as well. Um, it's all personal preference. And if I don't like it, then it's in a hanging basket and I didn't tie anything up and have to take it apart again. So 
I guess that's not that big of a deal. Okay. Now I have a lot left down here still that I think I'm just gonna use the twist ties and let me see if I can put them right here if you can see them. Okay, oh, don't get in the water. I think I'm just gonna wrap him and twist tie him around up here to fill up my top. And to me, a plant doesn't have to look perfect. I like how it looks in nature, so I'm not gonna spend too much time getting him all wrapped up. So I'm just gonna twist these around here. Maybe put this in here. Kind of follow, this one's twisted already, so we'll twist him that way. I don't even have to use a tie on him or that one. Now, I would probably have to use a tie on him. But we're starting to fill up in the middle section. So I'm gonna twist him around. Any dead leaves you see, go ahead and pick them off while you're doing it. It's gonna save you a lot of time. Grab a twist tie. This one's gonna get tied up. This is not a, a five minute process. So if this is something you're going to do, know that you need time. A lot of it because this is only one plant and I soaked him like I said before the video started um, so just know you need time if you have kids tell them you know find them something to do as you're doing this if they're old enough have them help you untwist these bad boys don't be mad though if they break a, a branch um, I really just enjoy plants, so to me, taking time is not that big of a deal. And my kids don't like it anyway, so. <laughs> All right, we're almost done with him. And like I said, just keep twirling him where you want him to fill in. twist tie is long enough that he's going to go on that same twist tie. And then he's potted. Let's see if I can pick it up and show you. He's potted. He don't look too bad. Like I said, we'll give him some time to, to grow and get his flowers back. My favorite part is the flowers. So let's talk about, he needs some weight on him, um, the neem oil. I'm going to use neem oil. I'm going to spray him with neem oil. Neem oil, this is what I use. The directions are on the back. Um, dilute it extra if you've never used it before. Um, like I said, do not put your plant in the sun. I like to do this at night because I have used this during early morning. Set my plant out, all my leaves burned. I use a nice little spray bottle. Actually got this, it's great. It has this little button here. You can push it and push it in and you don't even have to hold to spray. Um, I mix mine in here. Always shake this even when you're spraying. It has a good pumper and it covers a lot. I actually got this for like $5 at Dollar General. It's a lot better than like a spray bottle that you have to keep squeezing and squeezing. So neem oil, you're gonna spray the whole plant all the way to the soil. I spray the top of the soil. Um, you're gonna do this weekly and probably four to six weeks and you shouldn't have an issue hopefully after that. So, spray the bottom, spray the top. Neem oil, it does say that you should use hot water. Hot water is more effective than cold water. Um, I don't know that there's really a difference but it says there is so I use hot water gonna lose my plant just soak him really really good sometimes I soak until like the water is coming it looks like it's dripping water get the under leaves like I said get in the cracks and crevices
all the way down to your soil. I need a pump again. Like I said, this is awesome. I just push the little button and push it in. I'm not even squeezing. It just comes out. I'm literally just holding the bottle. And there are a lot of leaves here, so take your time and really soak it good. And that is all there is to treating your plant that has mealybugs. Um, I'm going to pull this one out and I'm going to do the same process, only I think I'm going to put him in a hanging basket. Um, and I'm going to hope these little flowers make it. And hopefully here in a couple weeks this one will be full of flowers and no sign of mealybugs whatsoever. Um, like I said, I'll put the directions, the recipe for the pool water that I have the water in the pool I'll put that in the comments for you guys other than that good luck with your plants and hope you're not going through this process thanks for watching